so good to see you today, Friday, 6.30 p.m., and we hope you're all doing great. Here I am with Janet. Welcome Hi guys. to you. So we have some great excitement work for you today as well. Before that, we have some activity that you are going to laugh. Really, you're going to laugh. So now, me and Jenny, we are going to be challenging each other in this activity, yeah. and we see who is going to win. So we want you guys to play with us if you can or cheer us up. So here we have we have uh, floaties, two floaties, oh, no. and you think what are what are they gonna do with the floaties? So now with the floaties, we are going to put them inside ourselves, and it's kind of not very easy. It's but kind of hard to be honest. I kind yes. of I barely fit in, <laughs> in this. So should we put our arms inside okay, of it too? Cool. Let me. Yes, we put our arms out of that too. So now what's going to happen? The child is going to be, you feel stuck in it, right? Yeah. So now we are going to try to get this off of ourselves from the lower part of our body. Yes. Without using no hands, just using our arms and just moving around. Yes. All right? Keep we in mind, it. this is going to be hard. So Ready? We can put a little bit more down though. A little bit more down. Yes. And then we can. All right, guys. We start. Woo. Okay. Okay. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Oh my god, <laughs> this is hard. So it has to come down upward or downward? <laughs> down, 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 down. <laughs> okay. Wait, I think I almost got it. What if, okay. It might no, upward, downward, downward. Downward? Yes. Oh my god. It's a challenge. Because okay. upward, you are so close. Okay, let me put mine down again. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is here. Rihanna's like <laughs> having a good time, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put this down a little bit. Okay, there you go. Uh, this is hard. Oh my god, mine keeps going up. That's so weird, huh? Okay, guys. Assistant. Assistant, please. Okay, okay. You built it too down too hard, but that's okay. Okay, okay. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. <laughs> Okay, come on. <laughs> and we on it one, guys. That's okay. That was so much fun. Okay. That was so much fun. Okay, I know that when you start, you started very up here, so we're gonna yes. do it one more time. We're gonna bring it up in the middle okay. and then we go down, okay? Okay. So guys, one more awesome. time because of course it was not fair. She was very up. She put it very up, so yes. we're going to make it sure that we're both on the same page. Yes. And then we she got a way. point though, guys. She wow, I don't even have a breath now. You know why? Because I tried to fill this one with my breath. We didn't have a, how do you call them? The little air machine. The little air machine. So yes. I had to do that with my breath. But my goodness, my lungs. Yes. So you can go a little bit lower. More lower? Uh huh. To your elbow. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, there. good. Okay. All right. Three, okay. two, one, one. go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Come on. I have to beat Riona for this one. I have to leave with the point, okay, guys? Okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, okay. So, oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm almost there. <laughs> Did we, I think we finished on time. <laughs> this was very okay. fun. This was good. good. good this good, was good. good. Much easier that way, right? Yes. I recommend to try it at home with your siblings if you guys are quarantined together. So this is a fun activity <laughs> to do, guys. So highly recommend. Um, and you get to laugh with your siblings too. So yeah. Yes. So stay tuned. We're coming back with a great message for you. See ya. Yes. Welcome back, welcome back. It was such a great activity. It was very challenging, but it was so funny for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well as we did enjoy with Jenna, right Jenna? Yes, it was fun. <laughs> and uh, I guess we didn't have a real winner winner, no? I mean, we're both winners. I guess it was a tie. It's like, yes. it was a tie. Uh, yes. However, however, we do things here with activity intentionally. So there is a message behind what we just uh, had here. Uh, now, when I had this floaty all around me, I felt stuck. Now I couldn't use my hands, right? And I felt stuck, what can I do? And I was trying to move and move around and move around and trying to have my buddy help me to get rid of it because it's so uncomfortable being stuck somewhere, right? And I usually used to suffer because now I don't suffer with those close places. How do you call them when you're in the close places? Like, um, um, isolation. 
like a like a no 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 I know I know the word I forgot the word in English of that how do you call that when you are in like a stuck in the small places and you can't breathe and you get like there you go yes I used to be that one I I'm not anymore but then when I'm like I feel stuck I'm like I want to be liberated out of it right and uh, the message behind it that I want to share with you today is like how many of us have, uh, have felt in our lives that we're stuck in a place, stuck in a place that we don't know what to do, a place that probably you have been there for a very long time, very long time with those thoughts, stuck with those thoughts that you are not good enough, stuck with the feelings that you are not worth it, stuck with the thoughts that nobody loves you, stuck with those thoughts that, that you are never going to mount of anything in your life, stuck with those words in your mind that probably your, your schoolmates have talked about you, probably even family members have spoken over you, or probably even parents have called you things that, pro that, that you are not, you know, and it, can, and it can happen. Unfortunately, it does happen. I grew up in that kind of family that uh, all I had to be excellent because if I'm not excellent, then my father would, would literally verbally abuse me and say that you are not worthy enough you are not good enough look at your friends they are better than you and I always felt stuck on my thoughts for many years in my life and how many of you out there that you feel that you are stuck now what do we do in the in the in the in the time that we feel that we're stuck in life right they are and they are usually I can speak out of my own experience with my own family, that how I grew up and a lot of experiences, even as a Christian that I felt stuck in my life, I can really say that, that, uh, that uh, are not pleasant, are very unpleasant experiences. Sometimes we see no hope, no light, and we say like, this is gonna be my future, this is my destiny, I don't think I will ever come out of it, I just need to accept it and I just need to run with it. But you know what, there is a way out. And there is hope. And there is light in the end of the tunnel. And that light is called Jesus. And in the moment when I give my life to Jesus, I learned how to, to get all the places, to receive the places that I was stuck with one, uh, with one uh, thing in my mind. That if I am being in this situation that I am right now, I should not get stuck where I am stuck, but I should use that situation that I am right now. What can I learn out of the situation that I am right now? And how can I use this situation that I am right now that I feel stuck in the future that I don't get stuck into the next uh, situation that I will be? So how can I learn to encourage myself in whatever I feel that I'm stuck with? which is the word of God, which is prayers, and always going to the place where we always receive freedom. And the only person that can set us free from any stuck situation, it's only the word of God, it's only Jesus. And I don't know about you, Janet, but that has always helped me how to always navigate in the situation when I feel stuck. And I know you had a great analogy, and if you want to share it yes. with us. Yes, and it ties up really good on what everyone had touched up on, like when you feel stuck, right? And most of the time, guys, when we feel stuck, we feel alone, right? And um, and the floaty, in my head, when I was thinking, you know, before going to bed yesterday, I was like, what is a floaty, right? Like, you think of a floaty, you're like, well, it's a floaty. Well, to me, that floaty taught me how to swim because it sustained me, right, on top of the water. Um, and if I were to let go of it, then I probably would have drowned, but I didn't. I would go in the shallow, I would grab it, and it will sustain me. And I was like, wow, God is like that, right? When just picture the floaty in the ocean. That's how I pictured the floaty in the middle of the ocean. It's like, it's so far. You're like the only person in the middle of the ocean with the floaty and the floaty doesn't go any, doesn't go anywhere, you know, because you, you, you hold on to it. It doesn't, no matter the waves that come, yes, they, they might come, but the floaty will sustain itself on top of the water. And that's how God is. He does not get shook, shaken by anything coming, you know, its way because he has the power to overcome and he's already overcome most of the, all of the stuff that we face in our regular life, you know? Um, and I was thinking, I'm like, wow, like, you know, because obviously when I was younger, my parents got divorced, right? And I felt so alone, so stuck. And recently when I started to walk my, my, my walk with God last year, for the first time, guys, um, I, I started to, you know, learn more about who God is and how can God 
um, how has God been present in my situation literally my whole life right even when I didn't know him and now that I know him he's always been there um, and it leads me always back to you know the verse Jeremiah 29 11 where you know for you know God knows the plans he has for you plans to prosper you not to harm you plans to give you hope in the future and I'm like wow God all along you were in that floaty with me even when I didn't know you and now that I know you and you sustained me through that divorce that I was that I felt so down in my family you sustained me in that in in those situations that me and my family faced you sustained me no matter what and you showed me that all along you've been good and that you you're never going to leave me because you never left me you knew me from the, from the womb even before you created me in the womb and you know that my life is purposeful you know that everything that I'm going through it's serving my character it's serving me and it's molding me internally so that later on I can serve other people through what I learned right and that's why I'm like, wow, God, you are my floaty of my life, you know, and I don't ever, I never want to part myself with you because think about it, you could swim alone, but eventually you will run out of energy and you will need something to sustain you and that is God, that is your floaty. Um, so I am here to um, let you know that you grab that floaty because grab it, if you're in the middle of that ocean by yourself, grab that floaty that's waiting for you because it will sustain you until you know until the end so i encourage you to grab your floaty which is jesus and stick with jesus and get to know jesus and your personal experiences are always the best with jesus right because you know who he is and what he's done in your life and your situations so therefore you always come back you always serve him you always because that love is there right it's like you nourish each other's relationship and that's beautiful. So that's such a great analogy, Jen. I'm gonna just pick up this floaty right here and say, yeah. like, this in this floaty, what she actually said, God is like this floaty that holds you, and that's amazing. Mm -hmm. However, when we are in the yeah. midst of the storm, right, and we have this floaty, it holds us, but the storm will hit us. The waves are gonna hit us. The storm will hit us. And sometimes we feel even though we have the floating, we can go left and we can go right and we can go everywhere. We're not going anywhere. You feel like, where am I going? I'm, I'm, I'm being pushed left, I'm being pushed right, I'm being pushed in the back, I'm going in front and I don't know what's, what's happening, what, what is going to happen. Like we are in the season right now, we don't know what's happening even with our elections, with, with the situation with COVID-19. We feel like I know nothing, I feel like I'm in the middle of the storm and I'm being tossed by the waves, I'm tossed yes. by the storm, left and right, left and right. And I don't know and then the fear can come in. Though, even though we know that God is there to sustain us, but then the fear start, comes in and cripples in, right? Right? Fear, insecurity, doubt, cripples in. Oh my goodness, my life is over. I'm never gonna enjoy anymore my friends. I'm never gonna enjoy anymore going to school. What about my future? What about me finishing, graduating, getting a great job, yes. making great friends, getting married, having children, building up my future. I hear so many prophecies. I hear people saying this, I hear people saying that. You know, and there is so much uncertainty and doubt, but you know what? God never leaves us. God never forsakes us. As I was with this floaty within me, right? That was inside of me. It was very difficult. God is like this floaty that Janet says, right? He will never leave you. He's going to be always there for you. However, God might not show to you what your next step is and where you're going to go, but that does not mean that the plans that he has for you are good plans, plans to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope. And that's the only thing that you need to know. You don't need to lean on your own understanding. Trust God in the midst of the storm and he will straighten your path and he will show you where you need to go because everything works for the good of those that love Jesus and this we are here with Janet today you know if you feel stuck in life our call both both of us our call for you is to give your life to Jesus if you haven't given your life to Jesus and you are like well I kind of made a prayer with my parents because my parents told me but I don't even know I don't have a relationship with Jesus I don't know who this persona is I mean the leaders on the youth ministry have told me about Jesus my parents told me about Jesus pastor in the church has told me about Jesus but I don't know him personally now is the moment to know him personally because you know what at the end of the day there is no human being in this earth that will be able to take you out of whatever situation that you are in except God, except Jesus. So we want to extend you that invitation right now. And we want to tell you that God loves you. He loves you so much. So much that everything that he has in mind for you are good things. 
are good plans and he want to re reveal everything to you in the right timing but he wants you to come closer to him and those that draw closer to God those are going to be blessed so we are going to ask you now like if you haven't given your life to Jesus now is the moment to do so I'm just he's just a prayer away right Amen. and we're going to pray this prayer together and if you haven't prayed this prayer together if you haven't opened your heart to Jesus we we encourage you to open your heart to God open your heart right now close your eyes bow your head and say this after me Jesus thank you for everything you have done on the cross for me thank you that you are real father thank you so much for loving me for making this call right now for me so I surrender myself to you forgive me for being disobedient to you but I open my heart and I receive Jesus as Lord and Savior over my life. Jesus, I love you. Guide me and lead me through your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray this prayer, we are so happy and excited because it's about that. Everything we do, it's about life. It's about your life because we love you. And we are so excited about you. If you, if you have accepted Jesus, just DM us on our Instagram. You know, just 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 connect with us every Wednesday, 6, 20 p.m. We are having services in person here at Annex A. And we are so excited to meet you in person. And if you cannot make it in person, you can you can follow us in our Instagram, in youth Instagram that we have. Because we wanna we wanna connect with you. We have e-groups, weekly we e-groups. We, we have an amazing, awesome e-groups with activities and the word. So we love to do to do life together because when when you become a Christian, you can't do it alone. You need people to, to, to support you, to pray with you and for you. So we really encourage, just be part of this family. Don't do it alone. We are here for you every single day. Whatever need you have, you have, we are here to pray for you, believe God with you, and just get in touch with us. Yes, get in communication with us on Instagram, which our Instagram page name is called underscore elevate youth underscore. So please direct message us if you're not part of an e-group weekly and we'll um, we will partner you up with the youth leader according to the grade level that you're in. Um, and if you need, if you have any questions on our Wednesday meetings, please send us a message. And if you um, receive this prayer, um, please send us a message so that we can um, celebrate with you um, and keep in, and keep ourselves in contact with you. Okay. Thank you so much. We're gonna pray yes. you out before we leave. We hope that you enjoyed uh, this uh, this uh, this activity we had, the word today, and we can't wait to connect with you next week as well. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, God, for every person that is watching us right now, Father. Thank you for their lives, Father. Thank you for the good plans we have for them to prosper them, to give them a future and a hope. We are grateful for the good work you've begun in them, and you are faithful to finish it. We pray blessings upon them, your divine protection over them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, guys. Bye, we guys. Love you.